Yo, what's up everybody? Welcome to my B-Boy vlog, episode number two, where I show you how to travel like a pro B-Boy. I got invited to China, so I'm going to be taking you on a journey from my cozy little bed all the way to the hotel in Fengwa, China. A lot of B-Boys out there have yet to be invited to an international battle or event. So the purpose of this vlog is to give you a little bit of insight into the B-Boy traveling lifestyle and share with you some of the tips that I learned in my 22 years of b-boy traveling career. Welcome to the b-boy vlog Dizzy Dyer's volume number three. How to travel like a b-boy pro going to China. Step one, you wanna pack all your bags the night before and you want to pack as light as possible because you don't really want to check in your bag because if you travel like a pro, you know, you'll find that a good percentage of the time the airline will mess up with your bag and you don't get it in time. So if you can, if you're only traveling for a short time, don't check in your bags. This is all hand carry. Another video, I'll teach you how to pack like a pro. It's 5.17 now, time to kiss my wife bye and head out to the airport. So I just left the house, it's about 5.20 in the morning, I just got up at 5 a.m. and I'm already out of the house. The way that I do that is I pack my bags the night before, like I said, but I also take a shower the night before, I prepare my outfit, what I'm going to wear in the morning, that way I can maximize my sleep and when I get up, I can be out in like 20 minutes, right? So that's one of the few tricks that I've learned over the years of traveling so much. I also have to prepare the route of where I'm going to take to the airport. If you live far from the airport like I do, Seoul City is about an hour and a half away from the airport. So I need to plan what time I need to be at the airport. If I have to be at the airport at 6.30 in the morning, like I do now because my plane leaves at 8.30, then that means I got to leave at 5.15, which I'm doing right now. Today I have to take the bus to the airport because it's too early for the trains to start running. If I take the train, the earliest I can get to the airport is around 7.15 and my plane leaves at 8.30, which is possible. It's okay that you don't want to take that chance. So I'm going to take the bus instead. Hopefully I get to the airport in time. And here's the bus, 6009, yeah. The best thing about taking the bus is the scenery getting to look outside the window and see the beautiful city of Seoul. And we're here just in Chen Airport, supposedly the best airport for the last how many years if they stopped making a competition out of it because they just always win. So I always print my itinerary out so I have it on hand. Gotta go check the board over there to see where my gate is. That's my flight, 8.30, Kingdao at the G gate because I'm a G. So I'm here at the check-in, the G check-in, but uh, the line is relatively long. But the good thing is that if you travel, if you have those point cards, you're able to have extra perks. So one of the perks that I'm gonna use is the fact that I can check in at business class. So this business class, Sky Team Priority, Sky Team Elite, they also welcome, so I'm good. So the things you wanna give them is your passport, your point card, your little visa ID and your itinerary and you can make everything go by fast as possible. And I'm all done. Just took a couple of seconds and everyone back there is still lining up. <laughs> Success! Yeah, so one of the tips that I want to share with you guys is about the three different partner airlines that you can get. These are the, th the top three in the world, right? Number one is, my favorite is Star Alliance. It's only because I have what you call gold status in Star Alliance. And I get to go into the, the clubhouse, I get to go and eat free food and everything. I get VIP treatment. The second one is I'm kind of like what you call a elite member, but you need to be elite member plus, is Sky Team. Sky Team is the second one, it's really good too. But I suggest that you should, when you sign up for these partnerships online, make sure you choose the right one. Korean Air, you need to fly 500,000 miles before you get bumped to Elite Plus status. Whereas Star Alliance, I already have the gold status already, but when I was in Air Canada, I switched to Asiana and I was able to receive my gold status only a, a year. 
The last one is One World. I don't use this one too often. Uh, I use Finair. That's the one I got. But either way, these are the three different cards that you should get. So look online, do your own research, which one and what's the easiest to get. And if you start traveling like a pro V-boy, I definitely, definitely recommend getting these cards, keeping points. Because when you save enough points, you can actually fly for free. Yes, you can fly for free or for cheaper, or you can bump up your seat to like business class. And so you can be flying in style. You know? So another tip is they have these places, these little things that are roaming centers. And if you're gonna travel for a short time, I suggest going to one of these places and getting a Wi-Fi plan or a 3G roaming plan where you can spend only 20 bucks for two days, but you get unlimited roaming on your phone. If you're a guy that needs to always be on the Wi-Fi like I do, I suggest doing that. As you see, the security lineup is super long and I don't want to line up that long. So if you know the airport, you can always walk to a different lineup, which is my suggestion. So I'm, walk I'm gonna try a different place right now. See, this lineup is actually a thousand times shorter, so I made the right choice. So now I'm about to go through security and immigration where you're not allowed to film with your phone. So I'll be seeing you when I get to the other side. So I just came out of immigration right now and uh, security check and one of the, the techniques that I do is I usually wear a vest because uh, well it keeps you warm it's it's good for a pillow or backrest while you're on the plane but I can also very easily take when I'm going through security check I can take off my watch right now I'm wearing a non-metallic watch so I don't have to take it off I usually travel with one of these but I can take off things that need to be taken off I put my passport my wallet my phone, which I'm recording off right now, and I just put, stick everything into my vest. I take off my vest, you know, I put it through the machine. I come back, I just put it right back on. And then I can put my, my watch on and everything on afterwards, you know. So I like to go in and out as fast as possible through security because I don't like to like be waiting and putting everything together and whatever, you know what I'm saying? So in the Pro Bebo Hustle, you're traveling almost every single weekend to another city or country around the world and you only go for a weekend, right? So you leave on a Friday, you usually come back on a Monday. It really helps a lot to know your home airport, all the ins and outs and all the little things that make going to the airport as fast as possible. I'm blessed with the best airport as a home base. It's the best airport because it's so fast. I have an hour to spare and to do whatever I want. So before I get on the plane, uh, if I haven't eaten, I like to grab a smoothie because smoothies are healthy and uh, but it doesn't make you too full that when you get on the plane, you get that free food, you can, you know, you can still scarf it down to make as much use out of all the free things as possible while traveling. So on my way to board the plane. So one of the tricks I like to do is I like to pack my bag pretty tight, pretty full and put it on the ground underneath, underneath and I kind of use it as a footrest. I take off my shoes and use it as a footrest. It's a lot more comfortable, you know, than having your feet on the ground the whole time and you have all your stuff with you. I also like to bring my own laptop with me too so I can watch movies because as you can see, this flight doesn't have a TV, your own entertainment system. So I gotta rely on this. And we're off. So the moment we get in there, I like to put my seat back and go to sleep. So yeah, I just arrived in China. Because I didn't have to check in any bags, I was able to go through security like super fast. I'm always like the first to rush. Like the moment I get off the plane, I try to get to immigration before everyone else because by the time the whole plane gets to immigration and you, you get to the lineup, the lineup is so long, you have to wait extra long. So the moment you get off the plane, you run and you get so you're the first in line when you get to the immigration line. After you get past immigration, if you don't have any checked baggages, you get to go right through. So now I gotta check into my next flight. So right now I'm sitting on one of these awesome relaxing chairs. Looks like one of these. It's good that when you travel, especially to a place like China, you have a bit of money on you. So I always keep on me a little bit of money, Chinese money. I don't change everything over. I keep it so that I, uh, if I ever come back to China, which is quite often, I can 
use the money when I travel or buy things as a duty fee or whatever. Oh, this thing is really hurting my legs. Ah, it's squeezing my, squeezing my legs. Oh, but it feels so good. Yeah, I'm kind of feeling this meal on the plane and water. And just got to the city. So after landing, you're one of the first people out. You get to bypass the whole lineup of people that swarm behind you. I'm one of the first people to jump out. Because I didn't check my luggage, I can just go straight out. I don't have to wait with these losers waiting for their luggage. <laughs> the hardest part about traveling like a pro b-boy is a lot of times you don't know the organizer. You know, they're just inviting you. So you kind of get worried when you get to the airport because what if no one's there to pick you up? Oh yes, yeah, someone he's here. So perfect. Hi. <laughs> so this time I was pretty lucky because yeah, I got picked up right away the moment I landed. But sometimes when you go to big events, uh, you have to wait because you're waiting for other people to come. So I'm waiting for another guy to come. My homeboy Bojan, he's the reason why I came here. A big homie of mine, this is his qualifier event. So very interesting, we have people taking camera photos of us. This is, uh, this is sometimes what happens. So first thing first is uh, when you arrive, you want to have some information about the city. So, what's the name of the city? Ningbo. Is it hot here or cold in Ningbo? Yes, cold. Okay, so it's up north, it's higher than Beijing? Yeah, higher. And there's many b-boys here? Yes. So you also want to ask some information about the event. So, the event is two days. Yes, two days. How many b-boys do you think enter the battle? Maybe uh, 300. 300 b-boys. Is it one on one? Uh, and a crew battle. Uh, do you know when the workshop is? My, yes. My workshop? Yeah. When is it? Tonight, 7 o'clock. So today, just land, workshop. And I have translator? Yes. So all you want to know is this simple information when you travel. Yo, just got here with my brother, Bojin. And we in China! Bloop, bloop. And now we just arrived at this massive hotel. Most Chinese hotels are really massive. I don't know why, but that's just how it is in China. So we're here, all the b-boys from Taiwan competing at the event. You guys bought me a present from Taiwan. I am gonna go check out my hotel room. Let's see what they got me. Oh, there's Wi-Fi. Wi-Fi is good. Give me a good room, give me a good room. I'm in the corner so nobody can hear me scream. All right, everybody, so this is the room. This is the kind of room that you would get when you are what you call traveling as a pro b-boy to China. Uh, you get your own room. That's the cool thing that they hook you up like this. Hey, that's me. Hey, the cool thing that I haven't seen before is they have a computer for you here. That's very interesting and cool. I'm down with that. Cute little speakers, nice. They always come with a flat screen TV, king size bed, a little table in the corner for don't know why. Yes, they're up to date with this multi-plug thing. It's awesome. Always comes with a bottle of water, standard, a tea kettle, everything. Cool. Do they have a fridge? They got a fridge. Let's see what they got in the fridge. Nothing. And what do they got in here? Anything special? No. They got a hair dryer. For me, that's really important because I need a hair dryer for my beautiful, sexy hair. Let's see the view. Okay, can you open the window? Because a lot of places are afraid people will jump out. Not the greatest view, but it'll do. It's a city that seems to have a lot of trees. A few tall buildings in the making. And that's pretty much it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. How to travel like a pro b-boy to China.